Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of my summer scrap mechanic in the town. Now today's going to be a little bit of a crossover episode, you guys have been suggesting that I do this for quite a while now, and what I've done, we've built a couple cars from my summer car, and I've also built the house from the game. It is fairly accurate, there is going to be a couple things that are not 100% on it, but I do think you guys are going to enjoy this. Now if you didn't check out our last town episode, we built a city hall, I will link that in the description. And remember folks, if you are enjoying Scrap Mechanic, leave this video a thumbs up, it helps out my channel a whole lot. And let's jump right into this. Alright, so if you're wondering where we are compared to the actual main part of town, the main part of town is beyond those, you can see them, there's two tanks there. Uh, it's right beyond that. I needed to stick this on kind of a back road with a bunch of trees to make this look right. Now, this isn't the permanent spot, this is the spot that I chose for the video, and there's a reason I did that. If you know about the game, you know the garage has like a little bay that you can go down in. And of course, the only way to accomplish that is to build this on the side of a cliff. So this isn't the permanent spot. I know it looks a little bit funny, but it does actually work. So yeah, we've got the house here. It is close to a one-to-one -one skill. I'm not going to say it's perfect because there's limitations with scrap mechanic. There's limitations with the textures and pretty much everything that I could do. So I got it as close as I think I could. Uh, there might be a couple things that I miss here and there. So we have that. We have a couple of the cars. Now they're actually, this one here is painted like the one I have in the game. We'll go over those. Uh, that one over there is Scrubmaster built. And Non-Newtonian actually built the, uh, the poo truck from the uh, game. So we'll go over those last. But anyways, let's go ahead and hop into the house here. Now as you can see, and I'll probably flash some, maybe some reference pictures. That way you can get a, a bit of an idea of where we are. Just in case you haven't played the game or you haven't seen my episodes on it. So here's the outside, uh, we're going to go right into here, and here's the garage. Now what I've done, I've pretty much mapped this exactly like it is in the house, from the light fixtures to the way that, even the way the doors open and which direction they open in. So here's the garage, let's go ahead and hit the light here, and boom, there it is. And this is why the house is on the side of a cliff, that way I can actually kind of climb down here. So if you had the car pulled in. Which, by the way, the car does fit in here. It's a little close. Uh, Scrap Mechanics vehicles are a little bit larger scale, uh, at least when I build them, than the uh, buildings themselves. But it will fit in here just fine. So yeah, you've got that. You've got the shelves on the back. A lot of clutter uh, when you first start out the game. The engine's just in tons of parts. And I even think like parts of the panels are back here. It's been a long time since I've reset the game. So I don't remember exactly what's all back here. So you've got the shelves. You've got the jerry can. Here's the main table that I remember building the engine on. You've got all the paint cans. Of course, you have the flag here. And anybody who's watched the series knows that, uh, or at least knows what these little blue containers are. Uh, this is the beer in the game. You can go buy a beer at the store, and pretty much by the time you're through, uh, at least with a couple weeks in the game, you have these things littered all throughout the house. So that's what those are. Here's the engine hoist. So you hook the engine on, put it into the car here. I've got a couple of uh, like chairs, say we ripped out some of the old chairs and put some new racing seats in. So yeah, there's a lot of detail in here. Uh, I think the scaling is pretty accurate. Now if you're wondering, I hit all the controllers in the wall, so uh, I'm gonna, it's probably a little shocking with this, uh, this spider web here. Yeah, this is pretty messy. All the controllers are lined up in the back wall, and that back wall, oh, fell in there, okay. That back wall, I can't really get around to it, but there's actually nothing on it. Uh, the only thing that's on that side of the building, there's a couple little water pipes that poke out the side of the uh, the building here, and that's the only thing that I noticed in game that's on the back side. So you've got that. There's the basketball goal. Uh, the light here turns on the outside light. It turns it on and off too. Uh, like I said, I mapped these exactly the way they work in the game. So if a light turns on, like there's one inside that turns on three different rooms. So if it does that in game, it's done like that here. So you've got that, you've got the blue trash can outside. Let's go ahead and open up the house here. Now this came out pretty awesome. Uh, there's a couple things uh, that I do want to note. Now the floor in the game is actually wood. It's wood squares. And of course we don't have that texture and scrap mechanic. So I went with the tile and I painted it brown. A uh, reason being is the whole fact that the walls are also wood. So if I would have had wood on the walls, had them on the ceiling, and had it on the floor, I, I think it, it was a little overkill. So I'm kind of glad I went with the tiles. You got the ugly rugs. I mean, this house, I believe, is it looks like it's from the 60s or the 70s. So that's why everything's just kind of brown, uses these really off greens. It's kind of 
it's kind of ugly. <laughs> so yeah, you've got that. Here's the uh, where the map is of the uh, of the game. This will kind of show you where you can go do your jobs or where the races are held. So you've got that here. Let's go ahead. Yeah, we'll go in here first. Uh, this is the living room. Uh, it's got all the hideous furniture that's in the game. You get the TV over there. Uh, you've got the nice recliners. And when I say nice, I mean they look comfortable, but they the colors. I mean, man, this. These are bad. I used to, the house I grew up in actually was built in the 60s. So these colors, they just bring back very bad memories. So you've got that. You got the ugly light fixture. You've got the, uh, the random brick wall in here. Here's the chimney. Uh, there's like a, it looks like a, one of those kind of Indian style blankets. We had a couple of them. Uh, it hangs on the wall here. So I just kind of had to make some sort of pixel art. Uh, color wise, these are all fairly accurate. Uh, some things might be slightly off. It's just depending on what colors I had available. So you've got that. Uh, here is the haunted bedroom. If you don't know what the haunted bedroom is, apparently at night this bedroom just opens up by itself. The door does. Uh, I've never experienced that in the game. Uh, you really have no purpose of being in here in the game. I don't think there's really anything to even interact with. The actual bed you sleep in is uh, on the other side of the house. So here's the haunted bedroom. Let's go ahead and turn. Actually, that's the door. By the way, there's XOR gates on all doors, so you can open them up from each side. I even have little handles on the doors. Uh, they turn from the sides that should be turning. Actually, I don't know why that one's not moving there. Uh, it's probably just a little mistake. I'll correct that. But yeah, here are the lights. Uh, the lights in the game, for the most part, are orange for some reason. And actually, in this room in the game, the lights, you don't even see a fixture. There's just a light source on top of the ceiling, and it's just, it looks really weird. And that brings me to... Oh, plant fell through here. Whoops. Well, normally this closet, which I think it's a closet in the game, is empty like this. It's got gray concrete walls, a wood ceiling, and I can't tell if it's the grass texture or it's a green carpet, but that's actually what's in this bedroom here. So let's go ahead and close that. See the door handle work there. Uh, here's the bathroom. This is where you save the game. So if you've got to take a leak, you can pee in here. Here's this. The, uh, the light turns on here. And there's no mirror for whatever reason. You just got the sink over here, so. All right, so here's the bedroom that the player actually sleeps in. I'm gonna show you the door handle here. You can see it actually moves down slightly. So, yeah, this bedroom, I don't know, it's ugly too. Everything's ugly. Uh, I came pretty close with the wallpaper that they had. The game's got this weird floral wallpaper here, but it's kind of got this color scheme to it, so it is fairly accurate. Uh, I've actually got the light here too. There we go. So you got that. I didn't use a bed piece in here. I actually built this one because the bed in this room is really skinny and it's made out of wood all around it. It's just got like this little pad or blanket on it. So there's that. There's a table. That's where the magazine would be where you order your parts. Uh, the chair I'm not a 100% big fan of. It's just the chairs and scrap mechanic. I don't like the default chairs that go in the car because they don't look like they belong out of the car. And then when you try to make one, you've got this one by one block and it's a little awkward, but that's what that's supposed to be. Here's cabinets. Uh, if there's a poster on the wall, I've got a piece up there representing that poster. There's uh, the radio starts out. It's back here behind the door. So that room came out pretty good. So let's go ahead and head over to the kitchen. All right. So here is the kitchen from the game. Once again, this kitchen is extremely ugly too. Uh, scaling wise, this kitchen's fairly accurate. I kind of wish I could have extended it out maybe by one or two more blocks. Uh, one thing that you have to keep in mind when I built this house to get the textures on, you know, say like this uh, tile texture and the wood texture, I had to make the walls double wide and that kind of ate up a bit of space. So that's why certain rooms might not be quite as big as they should be. I, I still think this one's fairly close, but it might be shortened by maybe a block or two. So you've got that. You've got all the counters in here. They're absolutely hideous looking. It's got that really off green. Uh, here's the stove, little vena hood, got the double sink here. Uh, the light turns on over here. There we go. Uh, I don't like that the uh, the headlight, the light's really focused. I really wish there was a lot more spread on it. Uh, but that's the way the fixture looks like in the house, so I couldn't put those floodlights in. So it's not the, uh, not the best lighting in here, but it does the job. So you've got that. It's got like a, looks like a picnic table for their dining room table, and that sits there. Of course, you got the fridge. Got some ducks, of course. So you've got that. That opens up. It's kind of hard to close. Actually, let's go ahead and get that back. There we go. Let's close those. Now, here's a closet that sets in the kitchen. And 
Once again, it's like the game, I don't know if they're adding stuff or they just haven't finished it. Cause this is what it looks like on the inside of the closet. It's like the green grass, you've got the brick wall and the concrete walls on the side and then you got the wood paneling. So that's a closet there. Now we're coming to the really important rooms over here. Let's go ahead. This is the laundry room. And this is one of those rooms that was shortened by about a block or two. Could be a little bit wider. Uh, this lights, actually that's the door. The light switch over here controls. And for some reason, uh, let me go ahead and open this door. Uh, this light switch in the game controls, actually is it this one? Uh, let me see which one it is real quick. Yeah, it's this one here. It controls all these lights. I, I wasn't seeing much light pop out there, so I didn't think it was actually working. It controls this light, it controls the light in here, and it controls the light in the sauna. So yeah, you've got that. Here's the washer and dryer. You come into here, here's the shower area. They've got a little bucket here that you move in, fill with water, and then you would go into the next room, which is the actual sauna itself. So you crank it up, you grab the hot water, and you have a little spoon in the game, and you put it over the hot coals, and this is where you take your baths or... I don't know, I don't really consider a sauna a bath, but the game does, so that's what's important, so there's that. So yeah, I'm really happy with the way this came out in here. This looks pretty accurate. Like I said, it, we are dealing with scrap mechanic and the way its blocks are, but I really like the way it came out. I like the textures, even though a lot of it's absolutely hideous. Uh, this is the back door, or, you know, is this the front door? This house is so backwards. Like, I don't know who designed this house. This is what would appear to be maybe the front door to the house even though it leads straight into the laundry room because the only way other way into the house is through or right by the garage which is I guess that is the front I don't know so yeah the only thing out here there's a little picnic table or just a little plastic white table with a green umbrella and this is where you would fall to your death so yeah that's the house there's a, a little flagpole over here there's a little like wood bin or something right in this area I didn't add that I'm not really sure if I'm gonna put that in I don't know, I wasn't really sure how big the house was going to come out. And obviously, uh, we're hanging off a cliff here. I'm going to have to fix that. But that was strictly just because I needed to be able to use the garage. So yeah, it's the little fine details that you might find here. Everything from the slanted roof. Uh, let me go ahead and show you that real quick. The slanted roof's actually got a chimney poking out of it. I uh, couldn't see that from the ground. And on the uh, roof in the game, the only part that's slanted is this side. This side here is flat. So yeah, uh... Feel free to download this map. I'll try to put this up on the workshop too if you want to go in here and check it out. Uh, maybe if you play the game, you'll pick up on the little fine details. I'm pretty sure I missed a couple things here. But anyways, let's go ahead and go check out the vehicles. Alright, so if you've watched my series on My Summer Car, you know that I am a huge fan of the Poo Truck. The Poo Truck just works so much better than all the other vehicles for whatever reason. I can handle it a lot better than the other vehicles. I don't know, maybe I'm just naturally drawn to Poo Trucks. Uh, but yeah, here's the poo truck. The color scheme is pretty on point. Uh, Mr. Non-Newtonian actually built this. Initially, I wasn't going to do the poo truck. I was just going to do the car in the house because I knew it was going to take a long time. But he I was like, hey, can I do the poo truck? And I was like, go right ahead. Knock yourself out. So yeah, this looks really good. And here's where the hose is. Hook it up. Turn on the pumps. You'll be pumping some sec septic tanks out. I almost said septic tanks. Septic tanks. So yeah, you pump those out, uh, fill it up with poo. Here's the little nozzle to spray the poo once you're done. Get the fuel tanks on the side. Everything looks really nice. Actually, I like the way he did that door handle. It looks good. So yeah, let's hop up into here. Uh, normally, I'd grab a case of beer and chunk it in here, but uh, we better not do that for Scrap Mechanic. Of course, he did a really good job with the inside, too. The interior looks awesome. I like the uh, slanted pieces here. Looks like you've got all the gauges and buttons. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure this thing's got a suspension glitch on it to help it turn a little bit because obviously it's made completely out of metal and it's heavy. So yeah, let's see how this thing drives. It's got working blinkers on it. Uh, let's see, two is the headlights, three, oh, the windshield wipers turn, so that's awesome. Maybe in the town we should probably put some little septic tank areas and we can drive this around and pump poo. I never thought I'd say we'd do that scrap mechanic, but uh, I don't know. Kind of makes me want to do it now that we have this vehicle. So yeah, like I said, in case you were wondering, uh, you might be able to see it. Yep, you can see it from here. It's probably going to be hard to see in the video. Let me go ahead and drive a little bit closer, uh, and I'll show you where the actual town is. Some people are probably still wondering, why is this labeled a town episode? Uh, you can see all the outlines of everything beyond the uh, trees back there. Well, hopefully it appears in the video. But anyways, as far as the vehicle, it is pretty accurate, and I say it, it works fantastic for its size. 
All right, so I want to thank Mr. Non-Newtonian for building the poo poo truck. If you want to download that, I'll link it in the description. Uh, it should be on his workshop. So that's pretty awesome. Now over here, we have two of the cars from the game. Now these are the same car. Uh, me and Scrubmaster, we just went on a thing where it's like, all right, you go build one and I'll go build one. And mine is on the right, his is on the left. His actually looks pretty good. Uh, it's got quite a bit of detail here. Go and pop the hood open. Oh, get stuck against it. Uh, this is a car that you actually build in the game, and the color scheme, at least on mine, actually looks like my car in the game, so this is pretty cool. Now, this is a tough car to build because there is just not much room at all in the car, and you've got scrap mechanics blocks, so yeah, it's, it's definitely a tight fit. As you can see, he's got beer up on top of it. I really like what he did with the windows here and how he tilted them inward. I'm still waiting for that slanted piece of glass we've got the flat piece that's why mine has no windows just say mine actually you know this looks like my current one that just cut through wrecking so this is my current car and yeah I really would love to see some of those slanted glass pieces and as you can see I store my beverages in the back seat so let's go ahead and take this thing out for a quick spin there's not much to this vehicle here this is just kind of a almost like a background piece at first I wasn't even gonna actually like put it together I was going to have it set in there like, you know, like one of those things where you guys could put the car together and it's just in the background and we'll just kind of weld some pieces onto it and act like we're building it. But I'm kind of happy I did stick the rest of this together. So you got that. Four does the lights. Uh, not much to the interior. Like I said, it's a really, really tight spot here. So we're going to take this out and try to drive it around. It actually drives pretty good. Uh, I found a little bit different way to mount the suspension on the bottom to make it fit in a little bit more compact area. So, yeah, fairly happy with the way this car came out. I will leave this in the map, so if you guys want to download this and maybe uh, play around with it, act like you're playing my summer car, or whatever the heck you guys do with it. But yeah, overall, I'm really happy with the way this build came out, and I actually really like this area. I've got some ideas for this area. This actually looks really good. Huh. I don't know. We'll have to see what we can do in here. Uh, I like this whole little section of the town, or at least this section of the map. I might have to do some more builds. But anyways, folks, I will have some more Scrap Mechanic coming up. We'll have another build coming uh, probably kind of on my Saturdays, the way I've been doing them. Uh, I'm going to take some of the uh, feedback that you guys gave me on the episode the other day. But if you still have any suggestions for the town, comment below. I will try to respond to as many comments as I can. Uh, I don't always get around to everybody's, but I like to try to set around, especially after the video is posted for about an hour and respond to people. But anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this episode here today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Everything helps my channel. I'll have some more Scrap Mechanic coming up. Hopefully some more My Summer Cars, City Skylines, and probably Brick Rigs this week. Uh, we'll see how busy I am. I can't promise everything, but we'll try to get it all for you guys. But anyways, hope you guys have a good day, and we will see you guys next time on Scrap Mechanic. Thank you.